Hey everyone, in this Camtasia tutorial video, I am going to show you how you can create more engaging videos by showing you how you can add animated text and pictures using Camtasia. So let's just dive right in. Hi, it's Steve from It Makes Sense, where we give you the tools, the tips, and the strategies to start an online affiliate marketing business because it just makes sense to have time and financial freedom. One of the tools that I use in my online business is Camtasia. For my YouTube videos, I always do my editing using Camtasia because it's so easy to use. And one of the things that I do or try to do in my videos is make them more engaging by putting in little pattern interrupts just to break up the monotony of my, uh, my talking head. And one of the things that you can do really easily in Camtasia is add animated text and pictures so let me show you how you can do this. All right, I'm in Camtasia now, and there are really two ways that you can do an animation. One is you can use this behaviors tab, and I'll show you how we'll do that in a second. And the other one is to actually use the animations menu. So let's go through the behaviors first. So I've uploaded my logo, which we'll use, and we'll animate this. So let's just add that here and then let's make it a little bit smaller so you can see the different animations that we can do. So the first thing we're going to do is behaviors. So the one that I like to use is called scale and there's many th different things you can do with it. You can see that there's so many other animations that come with or behaviors that come with Camtasia. But let's use scale. So what you would do is you would take this and then you would drop it onto the logo itself. So the default scale does this. So if I just play this, you can see that it just makes it appear. Now if I come over here to the properties menu, there's different things that you can do with this specific behavior. So I'm in the in, so the in means when it's first appearing in your video. So right now it's in grow, but if I wanted to change this, I can change it to drifting, fade in, fly, grow, hinge. Let me show you what hinge does. So if I add that, so now when it enters into the video, it'll hinge like a door and then it will stay there and let me make this a little bit um, shorter so when it goes out which is over here it just shrinks so if i wanted just to hinge out then i can just say hinge and i'll show you what that looks like so it hinges in i'll make it even shorter so it just you're not watching it and then it hinges out so that is uh, one of um, an example of what you can do with an animation. So you can also change what happens during. So right now nothing happens, it's just a static image. But I can make it jump around if I wanted to. So let's have it on hinge in. And now it's you can see that it's bouncing a little bit. And we can play with how much it jumps and how often it jumps. So let's make it jump a lot, go crazy. Let's shorten the delay and let's make this loop so it loops every two seconds. Now let's see what this does. When it hinges in, it should act uh, a little bit wonky. So let's see. It hinges in, it's bouncing around, and then it'll hinge out. So if I were to make this even longer, you'll, see, you'll be able to see the different things that it does or how the looping works. See, there you go. So that is that is scale. Now, there's other things, like I said, that you can do. You can, add, um, if I wanted to change the different movement types, I can make it, you know, smooth, spring, ease in, and then there's different things you can do with ease in. So if I wanted to change this, let's just say quint. Now I'll show you what this does. So you can see that it changes the animation even more. So there's just so many different options that you can do to animate your graphics. It's really up to you and your creativity on how you want to add those little pattern interrupts to your videos to capture people's attention. So that is how you use behavior. So if I wanted to remove all of the animations that we added to this, I would just right click on this. I would go remove, remove all effects. And now it's just going to be a static picture with no um, visual effects. 
So that is how you can use behaviors. Let me just show you one more. Um, so if you hover over this, you can see that it shows you, it gives you a little preview of what it does. So you can see explode. Let's add explode and I'll show you what that does. So if I play it, that's what explode does. And then obviously I can come over here and I can change the properties of the in, the during and the out to make it even more animated or change the behaviors of that specific animation. All right, now let me show you how you can add other animations to your graphics with the animations uh, menu. So let me first remove these effects that we added. And now let me go over to animations. So over here, there are different um, custom animations you can do that are already preloaded with Camtasia. So let me show you what happens if I wanted to do scale down. So let me go back to this and then let me take this animation and drop it onto the logo. Now you can see it added this little arrow. So if what it does is I'll show you. So let's play it. It, it'll appear. And then once it hits this arrow, it'll scale down. Now I can adjust, let me zoom in a little bit. I can adjust when this animation starts and how long it lasts. So if I want to make it a little longer and start a little earlier, I can take this and now this will be a much longer process because you can see I have this longer arrow. So let me start it and you can see that it's going to scale down really slow. And then it's going to stop right there. And if I wanted to make it really fast, then I would just shrink the arrow and then you'll see that it shrinks really slow. So that is another thing that you can do. Uh, another way that you can animate your graphics is by using these animations. And there's many different animations that you can use. So if I want to get rid of this, I can just delete it. And let's try another one. Let's try um, tilt left. We'll add it. Let's add it right here. We'll make it start a little sooner and we'll make it go fast. And you can see what this does. So it starts in the center and then it just tilts to the left. And if I wanted to make this go a lot slower, I would just drag this arrow and then you can see that it's going to prolong how long or it's going to make this animation really slow. And if I wanted to start it a lot later, I can just drag this. So the start time is now a uh, couple seconds after this logo appears in my video. So that is how you use animations. Now let me show you how you can make your own custom animations. So right now I have my graphic and I'm going to add a custom animation. And all that does right now is add a line. And if I were to play this, you can see that it doesn't do anything. That's because there is a little more involved with a custom animation. And let me explain what this is. So on the left side of this arrow, we call this the beginning state. And then on the right side of the arrow is the ending state. So right now you can see that this object hasn't changed from the beginning state to the ending state. So there is no animation. However, if I were to move this to the right, make sure that I'm highlighted or clicked on this specific logo. And let's say that I spin this logo a little bit and we leave it looking like that. All right, so now the ending state has changed and the beginning state has um, stayed like this. So now if I play this, you can see that it starts this way and then it's going to spin and then end how I left it. So that is how you can do a custom animation. So let's say that I wanted to, let's delete this and start over and do a custom animation. So let's say that I, I'm starting over here and I want to have this move to the left side. So then I would take this, move it down over here. So it's gonna start here and it's going to end here. And it's gonna take this long to do it. So if I hit play, you can see how it drags and then ends up over there. 
So there's a couple other things that I want to show you with custom animations. So if I right click on this arrow, you can see this, it, it's enable easing and right now it's set to auto. Now what easing does is it, the speed and the manner in which it moves. All right, to better illustrate how easing works, I created four different animations to show you what each one does. So you can see I have my exponential arrow, my linear, my spring, my bounce. So if I play this, you can see what each one does. So let's play this. So you can see spring, bounce, and then exponential started slow, then it eventually picked up steam and got to the end of the line before linear did. So that's a quick demonstration to show you what easing does. Now if I want to animate text, it's really the same thing that you do when you're animating pictures, but you're just animating text. So if I delete these, and then if I go to annotations and let me just add text here and I can say animation text and so I can add different behaviors to this so if I come over to behaviors and if I say let's add a let's try a different one let's do jump and fall so you can see how now my text is animated same thing with pictures, I have my in, my during, and my out. So for instance, on this one, if I wanted to bounce in, I can change it, I can have it hinge. So come over here, and now you can see that it hinges in. And then I can change it on the out, let's say on the out, I want it to explode. So we hit play. It must, it has its oh, jump during, during, and then it explodes out. So same thing, um, and then if I wanted to add custom animation, so let me delete this, remove this, and I go back to animations, and I hit my custom, create my arrow. So let's say my left, I want it to start over here, and then I want it to, let's say I want it to end up over here. And I also want it to spin a little bit. Let's do that. So then if I hit play, you can see that it's going to come down here and then tilt a little bit. So as you can see, adding animated graphics and text is a great way to add those little pattern interrupts to make your videos more engaging. And the more engaging your videos are, the more people will want to watch them. And that'll just increase your watch time, which will really help your channel grow. And if you want to learn more about Camtasia, I'll leave a link up above for a video of my full Camtasia tutorial. And if you want to try out Camtasia for free, I'll leave a link down below where you can go get that. You can get a free trial. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up so I know to create more content like this. And leave me a comment down below and let me know what you add to your videos, those little pattern interrupts so people are engaged with your videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Next and your pictures, okay. Freedom. So if you're by using Camtasia and adding tech